Aviation is often regarded as the safest mode of transportation. Yet, even in an industry built on unwavering safety standards, occasional incidents test the limits of technology and human coping ability. The collision involving a Japan Airlines A350 at Haneda Airport on January 20th, 24, is a striking example. It has caused concern for a long time until recently. What exactly happened in this incident, and how did the crew manage to save every passenger on board? Let's explore. The cause of the collision between a Japan Airlines Airbus A350 and a Bombardier Dash 8 from the Japan Coast Guard, which caused a public uproar on January 2nd, 2024, has been determined after a year of waiting. According to the findings of Japanese investigators, the primary cause of this tragic accident was human error. However, to fully understand the severity of the incident, let's rewind to that fateful day. On January 2nd, 2024, a Japan Airlines Airbus A350-900, registration number JA-13XJ, landed on runway 34R at Haneda International Airport. What seemed like a routine flight quickly turned into tragedy when the aircraft collided with a Bombardier DHC-8315, registration JA-722A, from the Japan Coast Guard. The catastrophic collision sparked a massive fire, engulfing the Dash 8 in flames. On the Dash 8, there were six people on board, including the captain and five crew members. The captain survived, but was seriously injured, while the other five did not survive. The aircraft was completely destroyed by the impact of the collision and the subsequent fire, leaving a haunting scene at the airport. This was not just an aviation accident, it was a painful reminder of the critical importance of safety, focus, and precision in every decision related to the aviation. On the Japan Airlines Airbus A350, which no one thinks would become an unforgettable nightmare that carry 379 people, including the captain, 11 crew members, and 367 passengers, the plane collided violently with the Dash 8 right on the runway. Flames erupted beneath the aircraft as the Dash 8's turbine engine made contact, but the A350 continued rolling before veering off the runway and coming to a stop in a grassy area near the end of runway 34. The aircraft's internal communication system failed, forcing the crew to shout or use a loudspeaker to guide the passengers. They not only faced the fire outside, but also had to check each emergency exit to ensure safety before opening the doors. Despite the tension and danger, the crew acted courageously and worked in close coordination. Within just six minutes after the plane stopped, all 379 people had been evacuated. Nonetheless, the accident left behind significant consequences. One passenger was seriously injured, four others sustained minor injuries, and 12 people had to be hospitalized for emergency care. The Airbus A350, one of the most modern aircraft, suffered extensive damage from the collision and fire. However, this near-perfect evacuation serves as a testament to the professionalism and composure of the crew in that life-or-death moment. Amid the chaos, they turned what seemed impossible into reality, saving the lives of hundreds of people from a horrific tragedy. After a year of investigation, the preliminary report from the Japan Transportation Safety Board, released on December 25, 2024, revealed that the primary cause of the accident was the crew's confusion. Specifically, the crew of the Japan Coast Guard aircraft misunderstood that they were cleared to enter the runway, leading to the collision with the Japan Airlines wide-body aircraft at Haneda International Airport, Tokyo. This incident not only highlights gaps in communication and coordination procedures between the involved parties, but also underscores the importance of ensuring clear and accurate communication protocols in aviation. It serves as a powerful reminder of the need to improve training and adherence to regulations to prevent similar disasters in the future. Additionally, another factor contributing to the collision was that Tokyo air traffic controllers failed to recognize that the Japan Coast Guard's Dash 8 propeller aircraft had entered the runway. The controllers also did not notice that the runway incursion warning, signaling a potential collision, had been sounding for about a minute. This incident reflects a serious flaw in the management and operation of air traffic control. First, the failure to detect the Dash 8 entering the runway indicates a lack of focus or poor monitoring, which is unacceptable in an environment that demands high precision and responsibility. Furthermore, the runway incursion warning sounded for about a minute but was not addressed, highlighting a gap in procedures or deficiencies in training, preventing controllers from responding on time. 
This also serves as a clear example of the significant impact of human factors in ensuring aviation safety, where even a small mistake can lead to serious consequences. Therefore, it becomes more urgent to improve oversight, enhance training programs, and adopt advanced technologies to reduce risks, especially in industries where safety is paramount, such as aviation. Besides, voice recording data from the January 2nd accident reveals that the Dash 8 crew had been distracted by their mission to assist the victims of the 7.6 magnitude earthquake that struck the Noto Peninsula the day before. This focus may have caused them to not fully attend to the situation on the runway. At the same time, Japan Airlines' failure to detect the presence of the Dash 8 on the runway was another contributing factor to the accident. Had the A350 crew of Japan Airlines noticed the obstruction, they could have performed a go-around to avoid the collision. However, the poor visibility on that day reduced the ability to detect the hazard in time, creating a chain of events that led to the crash. As a result, the interaction between human factors and environmental conditions can lead to severe consequences underscoring the importance of enhancing observation and warning support systems in aviation operations. However, it should be noted that this is not the final conclusion of the investigation. The fact that all passengers and crew on the Japan Airlines A350 aircraft escaped unharmed is not only a stroke of luck amidst the numerous unfortunate aviation accidents, but also reflects a key reality. The A350 is equipped with excellent fire resistance features. In the accident, Although this Airbus aircraft was surrounded by flames beneath the fuselage after colliding with the Bombardier Dash 8, the aircraft's fire suppression system worked effectively, preventing the fire from spreading too quickly. This provided valuable time for the crew, allowing them to guide passengers through the necessary steps for a safe evacuation. Specifically first, it's thanks to composite material. The Airbus A350 is primarily designed with a composite structure, which accounts for approximately 53% of the aircraft's weight as opposed to using metal materials as in the past. Composite materials, due to their lightweight and excellent heat resistance, help minimize heat transfer and prevent the rapid spread of fire. The composite structure can withstand higher temperatures and has better fire-resistant properties compared to conventional metal materials, protecting passengers and crew from the fire from the outset. Additionally, in the event of a fire, the layers of composites create an insulating barrier preventing heat from spreading from the affected area to other parts of the aircraft, thereby minimizing damage to the structure and interior of the plane. Secondly, the Airbus A350 is equipped with an automatic fire suppression system for the engines and other critical areas, which helps extinguish fires quickly before they can spread throughout the aircraft. This system works in tandem with the fire-resistant properties of the composite materials, allowing the crew time to implement response measures and safely evacuate passengers. The A350's fire protection system also includes thermal and smoke sensors, which detect fires in the early stages and automatically activate the fire suppression system, thus preventing the risk of fire spreading. All these features, combined with the composite materials, work together to minimize fire damage and enhance passenger safety in any emergency. In conclusion, composite materials do more than just reduce the weight of the aircraft. They play a crucial role in enhancing fire resistance significantly contributing to the safety of passengers and crew in emergency situations. This remarkable feature is likely one of the reasons why passengers feel a deep sense of reassurance and comfort when choosing the A350 as their mode of travel. Have you ever flown on an A350? What was your experience with this aircraft? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Although this was a serious incident, Passengers can still be assured that the Airbus A350 is one of the most modern and safest aircraft in the world. With its advanced design, modern warning systems, and stringent inspection procedures, the aircraft has made its mark with an excellent safety record since it was introduced into service. Incidents involving this aircraft, including the collision in Japan, do not reflect the quality of the aircraft but are primarily due to human factors or external conditions. In the case of Haneda, it was communication confusion and environmental factors like poor visibility that led to the accident, rather than any technical fault with the aircraft. Even in the recent engine incident on a Cathay Pacific A350, where an engine fire warning forced the aircraft to return to Hong Kong in September 20th, 24, the cause was a fuel pipe leak, an uncommon issue that was thoroughly addressed afterward. Due to this incident, Cathay canceled dozens of flights in early September, citing the need to inspect its A350 planes after the engine issue forced 
a Zurich-bound flight to return to Hong Kong shortly after takeoff on September 2nd. These incidents highlight that, while it is impossible to eliminate all risks in aviation, the Airbus A350 continues to demonstrate its superiority in design and ability to ensure passenger safety. Timely intervention, stringent inspection standards, and the swift response of the crew helped minimize the damage, reaffirming confidence in this aircraft model. While the Airbus A350 continues to uphold its reputation for safety and reliability, concerns about safety on some Boeing aircraft have cast a shadow over the industry in recent years. A series of incidents related to MAX and 787 Dreamliner, even developing aircraft 777X, highlighted vulnerabilities in aircraft design and software, creating an obsession with Boeing aircraft. These incidents raised questions about Boeing's approach to safety, oversight, and transparency. In contrast, Airbus has consistently demonstrated its commitment to proactive problem-solving and stringent quality control. For instance, in the rare engine issue on a Cathay Pacific A350 in 2024, Airbus quickly coordinated with airlines and regulatory bodies to conduct comprehensive inspections and implement preventive measures. Such swift and effective responses underline Airbus's dedication to safety and customer trust. Airbus aircraft, including the A350, benefit from rigorous testing and advanced design features that prioritize passenger safety. When comparing the two, Airbus's proactive and transparent approach to addressing safety concerns stands out, offering passengers and airlines greater confidence in its aircraft. The A350 in particular exemplifies this commitment, making it a preferred choice for those prioritizing safety and reliability in their travels. While no industry is entirely free from risks, Airbus's dedication to learning, adapting, and prioritizing passenger safety ensures that it remains a beacon of trust. Are you a big fan of Airbus? What do you think Boeing should learn from Airbus about problem solving? Thank you for watching, and may all your journeys be safe and smooth.